Let's compare the Lily and Lee bags from Ruby Jade. A little while ago I did an unboxing of these bags and everyone was so excited to see them packed up so I decided to do a comparison video for you guys that way you can get a better idea of the sizing and how they wear on the body and everything like that one thing I will say right off the bat is this strap right here we knew from my unboxing this was not adjustable I thought this Lee bag had an adjustable strap because it looks like it. It has the buckle detail right here and it has the holes, but when I went to adjust it, it actually is sewn there. So you cannot adjust this strap. This piece right here is sewn to both sides. So um, yeah, you cannot adjust this bag. I thought you could, but you can't. But they both have a really good drop length. They both hit me at a really good spot um, to wear crossbody. So I think when I'm kind of holding them up here, the size of the strap is pretty similar. It's pretty much the same. Um, the biggest difference that you're going to see in these two that I'm showing you here today is going to be the material. So the Lee bag that I have right here is in the vegan leather. And then this bag, the Lily, is in the um, full grain leather. So it's the, I think this is the sand color and so beautiful, love their leather. Um, but their vegan leather is also amazing, very high quality, excellent material. Um, but I believe both of these styles come in a real leather or the vegan leather option. So whichever you prefer, you can get in either of these styles. So let me show you side by side how they compare and how they can pack up. Um, one more thing I wanted to note about the straps before we move on is the um, Lily strap actually is removable. So it has the hardware here so I can take this off. On the Lee bag, this is not removable. It is just attached here on this D-ring on the side. Not a huge deal, but something I wanted to note for you. The zipper pulls are a little bit different. The one on the Lily does have this really awesome, beautiful tassel as the zipper pull. Um, over here, you have this cute pull that says... RJ for Ruby Jade, so really cute. And they both have silver hardware on these particular styles. Nice, smooth zippers. The chain and leather detail on this strap for the Lily is so, so beautiful and fun. And then the strap here for the Lee bag, um, it does have the chain detail part way up and then it turns into the um, vegan leather material. And then you do have that really cute buckle detail as well. I also love that on the Lee bag, you have this beautiful quilted detail on the front of the bag and on the back of the bag as well. Um, both of them do not have pockets on the outside. These are really cute, just little cross bodies where you're mainly just gonna keep your phone, keys, wallet, essentials inside of your bag anyway. So I have found that when using them, I'm not really missing the outside pocket. And then on the inside, they're set up the same way as well. You have a nice light color interior and you have a zippered pocket in the back. That is the same for both styles. So inside of here, nice light color back zipper pocket and also the um, logo right here on the inside. Now the Lee is going to be a little bit bigger than the Lily. So I think what we'll do is we'll pack up the um, bigger one, the Lee, and then we'll see what we can fit into the Lily. So in this back zippered pocket, let me just see if my phone charger will fit. Yeah, it's a little bit big for that pocket. So I think I would just put that into the main section, but back here, I can fit a tied to go pen, my travel scissors. I'm going to throw in a couple of lip products back there and then also my earbuds. Now I have my wallet and my keys and this little wristlet here that I will just throw into the center of the bag along with that phone charger. I like that this bag accommodates my cell phone um, vertically as well as horizontally so I can have more room this way if I want to. I have the iPhone 14 Pro just for size reference. It does fit in there um, standing up or on its side. Okay, so those are my main essentials that I need all the time, but I still have quite a bit of room inside of here. So I'm gonna throw in my Band-Aids, um, little pouch, and there's still room on top, so we'll keep going. I've got an applesauce pouch, and I also have um, 
fig bar, and I do like to carry wipes with me, so if I can, I like to throw in a package of wipes. Yeah, I can kind of squeeze that in there. And I love how soft and squishy this bag is. That's so nice. Um, so yeah, all of that fits in there really just fine. I actually have a little, you can see, a little more room here to work with at the top. Just because I'm curious, let me kind of remove some of this stuff and see because I know some people might ask if a diaper will fit in. This is a size 4 diaper. And yes, that will fit into this style. Um, pretty perfectly actually. Okay, let's see what we can fit into the smaller lily bag and let's see if any of this will still fit. I have, oh yeah, okay, my tie to go pen will fit. So I think my travel scissors will fit and then I have those two lip products but I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit my earbuds in there as well. So those will just tuck down into a corner there, wallet and keys and then also have to have my cell phone, so I'll throw that in for sure. So again, those are my like main essentials. Let me see if I can fit this um, external charger. Yeah, it's a little bit of a squeeze down at the base, but it definitely can fit it. And I still have room here at the top, so I think I could fit something like this fig bar here at the top, or I could do this applesauce. Um, probably just pick one of those and that fits in there great. I can't fit things like the diaper or the wipes in here um, or the um, band-aids, but everything else, the main essentials do fit in there just fine. But there you go, seeing them side by side, you can get a better idea. Um, the Lee is actually quite a bit taller and it's also a wider bag as well. Let me show you the depth here, how um, wide they are. They're kind of similar when it comes to the depth. And then of course the logos are gonna be set up a little bit differently. And I think that just is gonna depend if you get the vegan leather versus the um, full grain leather bags. Okay, even though this bag isn't quilted, it is the full grain leather material and it feels so soft and squishy. So both have such nice high quality materials. If you've ever tried anything from the company Lily Jade, um, it is the same kind of materials and quality that you will see from that company. So I knew I was not going to be disappointed with um, these purses and they're so cute. They have really fun, unique features like the awesome chain strap and the quilting on the front. Just really beautiful details that you don't see in your kind of everyday purses. I also ordered the May backpack from Ruby Jade. I'm very excited for that to come in so I can also do a review on that for you. Um, but until that comes, thank you guys so much for joining me for this quick review and comparison. And I will see you guys very soon for my next one.